Hey guys, I'm Maxim Emerson. Welcome into the first part of this lesson series where we will look at some different fill concepts. Now you guys have been asking me for a while for some drum fill lessons uh, and also with the, my most recent cover coming up, there's a fill at the end there where lots of you guys asked me to break it down. So if you don't know which one I'm talking about, here it is. <laughs> But instead of just teaching you the fill pattern and the sticking pattern and just that fill, I thought I'd teach you guys the concept behind that fill. So by the end of the series, not only should you be able to play that fill, but come up with your own ones. So let's get started. All right, so in this lesson, we're going to look at two different four note patterns. So to start off, we're going to do the easier one, just playing right, left, right, kick, and all notes as accents. First, we just repeat this over and over on the snare and kick just to get comfortable with it, and then we can play around with the voicings. Alright, so that can be pretty cool, but now I want to switch up some things. I want to add a bit of texture, I want to switch the sticking pattern and make it a little bit more interesting. So instead of just playing right, left, right, kick, all accents, I want to switch the sticking pattern to right, left, left, kick, and only accent the first note. So right, ghost, ghost, kick. Alright, so let's try that. Alright, so now we want to put that in the groove to make sure we can come in and out of it and use it as kind of a transition between the grooves or just in between the same groove. So let's try to put it in a basic rock groove. All 
right, so feel free to do whatever you want with this. Make it your own. Change the accents, change the sticking pattern, move around the bass drum, add another bass drum, uh, do whatever you want. Play it at different tempos, with different grooves. You could even put this as triplets, but as it's a group of four notes, it becomes a little bit different with the math uh, if you're playing them as triplets. But you can do whatever you want, basically. So in the next lesson, we're going to look at a group of six instead. So until then, play around with this, do whatever you want, let me know what you do with it, and have a good day, and I'll see you soon.